Because mm-hmm. you got to think about it. Snoop Dogg was giving me so much praise. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. He would promote me every time he, yeah, saw the red. Like, you know, like when, when it was one interview he did, he was like, he was like, uh, Somebody asked him like, "Why Dr. Dre not on the e- on the ego trip?" Down? He's like, "Shit, I got shot red." And at that time, they were calling me Dr. Dre of the South. And it was a it was one point in time. It was something with Dr. Dre had said some about he liked my keys, how mm. I play my keys. Yeah, and that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I I, I never claim I don't claim the 808 King or yeah, you know Trap God or you know all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know I'm good at what I do. You know what I'm saying? When you got to producing for Gucci and Jeezy, were there any times that you were going for a particular sound? Or was it just all shouted, just pouring out his creation? No, nah, they, 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 like when Gucci Man want to work, Gucci Man, I could, I could really like, he's animated. Mm. Most of the stuff we do. You know what I'm saying? He's animated, so it's like I could do dark type of stuff with him, but just keep the drums bouncy with him. That's right. You know what I'm saying? I could do an R&B track type of feel with him, cause he gonna, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If he like it, it depend on what type of mood he is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I mean? Most of the stuff that he tell me, he he tell me how he feeling, and I make it. So you you feeling in a dark place? I'm gonna yeah. make you a dark beat. He's like, yeah. man, shout to make me some scary shit. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And I do it, so yeah. it depends on. But he's 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 more animated. He he has more energy. Yeah. With Jesus, it's just like Jesus just sit there, and, like Jesus gonna sit in the studio with you and just, you know what I'm saying? That's it. Yeah. He just gonna listen. Yeah. Oh, that's hard. You feel me? That's yeah. what Jesus gonna do. He gonna be like, yeah, put that in there, bro. Put that in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just got to sit there and just play a whole bunch of keys yeah. with G's and then he'll start rapping. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He'll stand in the mirror and start doing it. The shit, same shit he do in the video. Yeah. He'll stand in the mirror while I'm still making the beat. <laughs> so that's how I know I got him. Yeah. But he don't do that no more. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we clash it because, you know, he not letting me produce him. Mm. He trying to produce me. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? How you gonna produce a producer, right, right. brother? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if I stop him and say we cut that, it's like, yeah. but that because, you know, he, he, I don't know how to explain it, but, yeah. you know, we clash a lot about that, and then he'd be like, because you drinking. You know, but you, you the one gave me the bar. <laughs> I also be this then, Shouty. <laughs> Being somebody that's seen a lot of artists from zero. To a hundred, man. What has that been like during your career, man? When you see an artist and you like, first they're mm. starving artists, then they become a popping art- mm. artist, then they turn into a legendary artist. Right, right, right. What is that whole thing like? Transition as far as I think, I I, I think it's dope because I used to like, um, what's that studio? I, I forget the name, but Big John used to put me there. It, all the time, he used to put me and Lil Wayne right there. It's, damn, what's that studio? I used to be in Hot a, Beats? Hot Beats. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Hot Beats. Yeah. And they used to make cookies for me and yeah. shit. <laughs> so, so it was weird because Young Money, like, I knew Lil Twist. Yeah. Fiend was writing records for, for Lil Wayne. And My God. So, Young Money was in this small room. I got this big-ass room that, yeah. that only me and Wayne going up. Because we on the same, I'm signing the Universal Motown. Yeah. So Sylvia Rome, Big John, yeah. they, they were like, nah, keep shouting us. So you just see Drake and, like, this before he even, you see Drake, Young Money, your currency, like, yeah. all these people. So I was like, man, I, I, I feel bad. So I was like, man, y'all come in the room with me. Yeah. Just vibe with me. Yeah. Fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And shit. And two two chains was in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was in there. And they would come in the room with me. And um I would just show them love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That cause Fiend was with me. Like Fiend, like what up, Fiend though, Fiend? Always, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Fiend been big bro, like yeah. since I came in the music been. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, for real. Yeah. He he guided me and teach me a lot of the lot of lot of knowledge. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I might get on his nerves <laughs> because he ain't, we ain't did no records. Like me and him got albums 
We ain't put out what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got albums. You know what I'm saying? But I'll be trying to produce them too. And he yeah. <laughs> he don't want me to produce them. You feel me? God throw it in your face. Like, see this what I I just told you this two years ago. This the feed. I want it. Yeah. And you doing the International Jones. <laughs> it don't, they want to hear Fee, Mr. Walk Walk. On a yeah. Yeah. Come oh on, man. my God. They want us to show out. Oh my God. They don't want to hear us sing it. Yeah, they want Mr. Walk Walk on the Shot of Red right. track. Right. He, he barely was doing the Walk Walk. I'm like, bro, <laughs> put the Walk Walk in the. Walk? No, nigga, not. Put some bass up under that Walk. <laughs> 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 but Fiend, that's how he is, though. And yeah, that big bro, so man, I, Fiend got it. And then most of the time, I just be like, man, he just high as hell. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he ain't listening to nothing I'm saying anyway. <laughs> so I'll never, I'll never get mad at bro. Like, seeing a young Wayne and Drake and them over there jamming, though, man. I mean, what was going through your mind at that time, and what does that hindsight twenty twenty say to you? I didn't, I didn't really bother them because they, they, they knew who I was. Yeah, and, and it was like. They knew who I was, and I, you know, at the time, like I don't, I wasn't a people person because we, I was going through that BMF, Jeezy. Yeah. I was going through wars. Like people don't understand, I was going through wars. Like I didn't trust yeah. nobody. I, feel I just that. felt like if I was in the studio, and I see people working, and and being productive, I would tell my team, like, tell them come in, they can come kick with us. Yeah. I'm, they might got some I need. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was working on my project. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm working on my project, like I call Lil C. I call people like, cause I don't like doing music on my own production. Yeah. So I called, I called Drummer Boy. Exactly. I called, you know what I'm saying?